Swap artist from an unknown land. I am Boy X Vampire Writer, and I'm going to be showing you how to add blood, bruises, and better stuff on your manga characters. Okay? So here I drew four different scenes. You know, happening this one I'm not entirely sure about, but you know how we'll get there. I'm going to start off with this heroic character right here, and zoom in. Okay, but this guy, he's like the famous, you know, beat up guy. I'm going to turn his eyes in. You know, just going to hatch him in, trying to save some time. You know, nothing special, but it still looks good, you know, yeah. If you hear some running, it's just my dog, he's kind of asleep. Moving on. Okay, when you make your, uh, scratches on your characters, you have to draw them fast. You know, like, one of your hatching, but not completely hatching. So it starts off kind of thick, then it smooths out, like, hot, hot, like that. Almost like drawing blushes, pretty much, like, everywhere. Like, da, 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 da. See, if you really want to add some effect like they've been cut, yet they're still bleeding, you're going to make it, whereas when you're in the middle of it, you're going to kind of go a little slower and slowly drizzle down so like it's like they've been cut like that. A really awesome thin blood going on there. You can just do that the whole way through. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, no, no. I'm making sound effects so you're not bored. No, 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 no. Okay, this part right here with the mouth. Have it to where as you start from his mouth, then you go to his chin. Like, do like a nice, smooth, slow squiggle right there. Like that. And then have a, almost like a river flowing through. Just remember, blood's thicker than water. So you want to do a lot slower. You know, so it's like that. And when it gets to the bottom, that's where it starts to pile up. So as you get towards the bottom, that's when you want to get even more thicker. Oh yeah, the pen I'm using, just an ordinary Sharpie pen. You know, nothing special. Yeah, kind of like that. So that, there you have it. That's pretty much it with this guy. Oh yeah, when you're drawing a bruise on him, like he's been burnt or something, have like a little squiggle, like draw like the eight symbol right there without crossing it like that, kind of. And then you're going to shade that in pitch black if you're inking. And then on the outside, you're going to do a, the same thing in the same shape. However, you're going to hatch that in so it's like he's been cut like that. There you go, like he's been burnt with something. Yeah, poor guy, I know, right? <laughs> Some minor adjustments here. That's pretty much it with this guy. This embarrassing fellow who is getting uppercut at by a girl. No offense, but it's true. Uh, pretty easy, pretty much blood in action. This is, this is going up. Of course, you start with the mouth. As you get up, you want to build up. Alright, this technique used right here, you want the mostly probably just stippling or dotting, like a lot, as you get more up, so like the action travels out. You know, start from the bottom, then, you know, slice your way up, like they did the blushies on the other character. Just go, yeah, da 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 da. Da 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 da. Right there, and you know, since they're boxing, it's little scratches won't hurt. Well, they do, they really hurt, but drawing them won't hurt you. There you go. You know, some minor stuff. Pretty easy stuff right there. Hope you got that. This, uh, cool, smooth-looking character right here. I want to have him, like, his eyes bleeding. Like, you know, he doesn't care about anything in the world. But uh, have it, like, teardrops, almost like that. But have his bottom eye line swervy, because, you know, it's getting liquids piling up out back there. And then, like I said before, with his mouth on the first character, like, kind of slowly drip it down. There you go. And here's the bottom. And the more blood's gonna pile up. And then you get all fancy with your little curvy lines. You know, just make sure you don't overdo it. You can overdo this a lot. And I've done it myself a lot of times. And I've hated it. So, yeah. And it won't hurt to get some reference from different artists. Like the guy who did, uh, who does Rosario Vampire. My best is the second season when he got into realism. He does a lot of he does a lot more blood action. You can do that. Uh, Helsing's a good source, and bleaches too. So, yeah, I got one more technique I have to show you after this, and it's probably my favorite guy. So yeah, you can just test this out pretty much on anything. Just draw some random stuff, and you know, test it out. Okay, and this guy that hates his life for me drawing him, he's getting his arm sliced off. 
but I want to get into depth in this one because it seems to be getting the structure into like the aftermath. So this part right here, we're gonna have a little cylinder because I want his bone showing. Draw a little circle for his bone. Don't have like a perfect circle, make it really jagged. You know, get cut off. Uh, inside the arms on the muscle structure, you don't have to necessarily know the muscle structure. Me, I'm technically, a, I'm actually a science nerd, so I kind of know it already. So maybe you can follow after that. Just draw like a couple of cylinder, uh, what are they called? Little hills, little squirrels everywhere until it looks black. You just draw it so it makes it look good. There. Yeah, same guy with the uppercut and arm. You're gonna go. And you're gonna speak out it's like you must laugh at my sound effects. They're keeping you laughing. Alright, you don't wanna look at like this. I'm making it like this for a person to make you not look like this. If it looks like this, you then simply get some lines, put them together, and shoot them up more and like you know like that. Because you know he's cut an artery just got cut. Yeah, that's some FTs up here. That stands for finishing touches, by the way. Got some FTs with giant big dots, you know, like that. You know, we'll add some dialogue here. A little uh, screaming bubble right here. He's going ah in a much epic, more painful way, of course. <laughs> there you go, and there you have it. That's pretty much it. So we'll test this out on your new mangas. And I am Boyx Vampire. Please subscribe to me, and I'll make more videos if you enjoy this one.